In order to do close-up images with the GoPro, I realized I needed a macro or close-up lens to go over the top of the main lens of the camera. I found that the objective out of a pair of binoculars worked pretty good as a macro lens for the GoPro, even though it had some spherical aberrations around the edges. Once I found a lens that would work, I needed to have some method of holding the lens in front of the camera. To do this, I used a tube of copper, a brass washer, um, and various screws and fasteners. The first thing I did is I cut a small ring of copper from the copper tube. This was then marked and drilled for four scre set screws to go in around the outside edge of the ring. These would hold the lens in place. Here I'm making a pattern so I can drill four equidistant holes around the outside of the ring. Brass screws will be inserted through these holes to act as set screws that will hold the lens itself inside the ring. And now I'm drilling four holes in the veneer. This brass washer is going to fit over the top of the copper tube and provide a support for the surface of the lens without blocking light from entering it. The hole in the washer is being widened on the lathe. Now I'm cleaning up the copper ring and the brass washer so they can be soldered together. I'm also soldering four brass nuts to the surface of the copper. These are cleaned and a flux is applied to everything before we solder it. These nuts will provide threads for the screws that will go in and hold the lens in place. I'm using steel screws to hold the nuts in place and a large steel washer to hold the brass one in place. Solder won't stick to the steel, so when I'm done soldering, I can remove the screws and the steel washer and have the lens holder separate from the steel. Cleaning off some excess solder removing the screws from the nuts that are now soldered to the surface of the lens holder and filing and sanding the surface of the lens holder. A Dremel with a small wire wheel Self-adhering felt pads were added to the surface of the holder and to the surface of the lens to prevent it from scratching either the lens or the GoPro. Brass screws are used as set screws to hold the lens in place. The electrical connector eye will be used to loop a rubber band through that will hold the lens to the GoPro. Last is fabricated a brass rod that will support the lens on the GoPro. It is comprised of two pieces of brass soldered together one overlapping the other. One piece is slightly longer than the other. A hole will be drilled into the longer piece for mounting to the rest of the lens holder.
finally a little notch in the support for the other end of the rubber band to go through. Finally, the whole thing is put back together. Do a close-up of the gear works on the second orrery without the macro lens. We'll put the macro lens on. You see the picture's much sharper. You can see the gear is turning. There you have it, macro lens in action.